ಸದಾಶಿವಸಮಾರಂಭಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರಿ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂ ಭಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರಿ ಪರ್ಯಂತಾಂ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯಂ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೀತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೇ ವ್ಯೋಮವದ್ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತ ದೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನವುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರ ವಾವಹೈ ಯೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿದ್ಯುಷಾವಹೈ ಏ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಚಿದ್ಘನ ಗಣೇಶಾಯ ನಮೋ ಮಹ್ಯಂ ಸುಖಂ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಸ್ವಪ್ರಕಾಶ ವ್ಯಾಪಕನ್ ನಾಮ ರೂಪಿ ಅಧಿಷ್ಠಾನ ಬುದ್ಧಿಬೋಧ್ಯ ಬುದ್ಧಿರ್ಯುಕ್ತ ನಿರ್ಮಲಂ ಅಪಾರಂ ಸರ್ ವೇದಾಂತ ವೇದ್ಯಂ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ ಪರಂ ಮಹ ತದೇವ ಹನ್ನಮತ್ವನ್ಯತಿ ಮೇ ನಿಶ್ಚಿತಾಮತಿ ಲಘುಮಹದೇವ ಆತ್ಮ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ಮುಕ್ಷುರ್ ವೈ ಶರಣ ಹಂ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯ ಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿ we finish the second chapter in the second chapter we concluded the anubandha chatushtaya in detail now moving on to the third chapter the guru and shishya lakshanas are talked about uh, yeah so that is the tritiya staranga ಸೊ ಅತ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ವಿಚಾರ ಸಾಗರೆ ಗುರು ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ನಿರೂಪಣ ನಾಮ ತೃತೀಯ ಸ್ತರಂಗ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಡೀಲ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಗುರು ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಗುರು ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಅಂಡ್ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಇಸ್ ಲಕ್ಷಣಾರ್ಥಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಗ್ರಂಥಾರಂಭ ಪ್ರತಿಜ್ಞ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಹಿ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರತಿಜ್ಞ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ರಂಥ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ರೀಸನ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗ್ರಂಥ ಎಸ್ತು ಅನುಬಂಧ ಚತುಷ್ಟಯ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ವಿಜ್ಞಾಯ ವೇದಾಂತ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಸುನಿಶ್ಚಿತಾರ್ಥ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞ ವರಿಷ್ಠ ಶ್ರೋತ್ರ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಆಸಾಧ್ಯ ತತ್ ಪ್ರಸಾದ ತತ್ ಪ್ರಸಾದ ತತ್ ಪ್ರಸಾದ ವೇದಾಂತ ಗ್ರಂಥ ಪಠತಿ ಶೃಣೋತಿ ಅತ್ಯ ಆದರೇಣ ಶ್ರದ್ಧೆಯಾ ಭಕ್ತ ಸ ಇವ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಸಾಧನ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ನೋತಿ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ moksha is the goal whereas sadhana is jnana and how will one attain jnana this is the pratijna pratijna is that through this vedanta grantha patati studies how here he says anubandha chatushte sam anubandha chatushtaya vishaya adhikari prayojana and sambandha these four knowing these four samyak vidnyaya having understood it very well as described in the first two chapters with all the puro pakshas being refuted there should be no doubt remaining that this is the vishaya this is the prayojana i am the adhikari and sambandha between these will lead to jnana ವೇದಾಂತ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಸುನಿಶ್ಚಿತಾರ್ಥ ವೈ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಅಪ್ರೋಚಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಗ್ರಂಥ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ನಿಶ್ಚಯ ನಿಷ್ಠಾ ನಿಶ್ಚಯ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಆಸ್ ರಿವೀಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ವೇದಾಂತ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ವೇದಾಂತ ಮುಖ್ಯಾರ್ಥ ಇಸ್ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸಾರಿ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಸಪೋರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಡಿರೈವ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವೇದಾಂತ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಸುನಿಶ್ಚಿತಾರ್ಥ ಪಠತಿ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞ ವರಿಷ್ಠ ಶ್ರೋತ್ರಿಯ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಆಸಾಧ್ಯ ಸೊ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಪಠತಿ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಟಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಸೊ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞ ವರಿಷ್ಠ ಶ್ರೋತ್ರಿಯ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನಿಷ್ಠ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾ ಯಸ್ಥಿತ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞ ತಂ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞ ಆಸಾಧ್ಯ ಗುರು ಆಸಾಧ್ಯ ಸೊ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಯುನೋ ಸತ್ತಾ ಗುರು ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ನಿಷ್ಠಾ ಇನ್ ಸತ್ತಾ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಹೂ ಟೀಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಸತ್ ಸದ್ ವಸ್ತು ದಟ್ ಗುರು ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಗುರುಸ
simple meaning of uh, guru is what a teacher even a child will call his teacher as guru that is the simplest of the meaning but teacher is not the meaning not the only meaning because any teacher is not a sadguru sadguru is one who teaches the sadvastu who remains in the sadvastu as mentioned by sthita prajnam his prajna is not flickery he remains in his his sthiti is in in prajna the prajna is sthira so sthira prajna or sthita prajna are the words for that bahuri and varishtam one who does not know superficially who knows the teaching methodology also he has is shrotriya so he has studied veda vedanta he understands how apparent contradictions have to be resolved and varishtam is in, in there are gradations of jnanis so it's superior by sthita prajna itself shows varishtam but sthita prajna is also showing nishtha and that nishtha may be there but there may be obstacles those obstacles going he will become varishtha jeshta i mean uh, superior the most superior this is the superlative so brahmanishta ityartha basically put together shrotriyam brahmanishtam as mentioned in the mundaka upanishad one should approach that kind of a guru and then tat prasadat through grace of ishwara which works through the the sampradaya which flows in the sampradaya right from dakshina murti or narayana whoever you take as the lord the lord is in various forms the same lord so tat prasadat vedanta grantham patati there should be grace you know you want to teach to study we need grace to study to for continuous study so therefore we should be thankful for to the entire sampradaya which has kept this teaching alive and so that we can study so tat prasada vedanta grantham patati studies under him and then shrunoti that's why patati means studies but how shrunoti cha it is not just reading of course there is reading involved pre or post either way i mean there are some uh, teachers who have who do not want students to study before the class some are okay with it some encourage it so it is okay i mean however the student is the student has studied something but then it is not clear so he knows generally what is the topic about then shrunoti when he listens to the teaching as taught in the tradition then the the topic is very clear so grantha becomes very clear and then adarena shraddha bhaktya cha it is not that okay i mean uh, armchair philosophy yeah i am interested if you you know i have time why don't you teach not that kind of an attitude the attitude should be of respect to the sampradaya i want moksha that is the reason you cannot be little it so adarena shraddha bhaktya cha there should be devotion towards the lord and the sampradaya teaching at least and then shraddha that there is no reason for the shruti to lie for the acharya to lie to start there you know people have start with that doubts oh he is teaching something how do you know that it is the truth so he is lying indirectly the meaning is that the teachers are lying and at the peak of the uh, shraddha it would be it is for my welfare that the entire teaching sampradaya exists it is for my welfare there is no other focus so adarena shraddhaya bhaktya cha सहयोग मोक्ष साधनम ज्ञानम प्राप्नोति न तु अन्य सो श्रद्धावान लवते ज्ञानम एंड देयर आर मोर अदर मोर मंत्रास दे से दैट वन हु हैज फाउंड अ गुरु हैज एज दो रीच द गोल बिकॉज़ इफ द ट्रेडिशन द वे द ट्रेडिशन हैज बीन टीचिंग दैट टीचिंग रीचेस अस देन वी कैन नॉट गो रॉन्ग अदरवाइज विदाउट विदाउट अ tradition it is easy to study various things everything look looks amazing you know you think that okay what uh, jiddu krishna murti says is right was buddhism says is right you know there are very catchy phrases they look they look right and we think that all that is vedanta and there are people to say you know buddhism teaches the same thing you see how bhagwan bhashyakara has refuted buddhism jiddu krishna murti also teaches something which is close to buddhism it is zen 
oh no it is all the same it is not all the same shunya cannot be same as uh, vedanta's purna it cannot be and uh, there are people who say you don't need a guru jiddu krishnamurti by saying that you do not need a guru has become a guru so it is <laughs> contradictory uh, there should be tarka basis you should know how erroneous you can be when you are teaching something to someone and say that you don't need a teacher then why are you teaching why don't you go in silence that is contradictory the teaching itself is contradictory to say that there is shunya there is shunya is and shunya cannot go together there is no anvaya possible you have to study mimamsa for that vyakrana for that there is no anvaya if asti anvaya asti asdhato anvaya goes with shunya then shunya cannot be non existence non existence exists is a contradiction and you cannot have a vakya without a verb how will you say anything you have to say shunya nasti if you say shunyam nasti then it is wrong it, it is contradictory to your own philosophical thought and if you say shunyam asti then that does not make an anvaya it will not make a vritti at all so this is discussed in uh, taitiriya also taitiriya chandogya everywhere shunya vada is refuted by bhagwan bhashyakara so everything appears the same because of the catchy phrases and those who do not have any training they themselves write uh, you know big fat books also there are so many channels and uh, you know they start teaching without a sampradaya backing so they don't know how to handle these apparent contradictions they don't even know there are contradictions anyway so that is the respect to the sampradaya which we you know we pray sada shiva samarambha or taking narayana in the beginning sa eva moksha sadhanam jnanam prapnoti that person will get jnana others will maybe get some kind of a vijnana some scientific thought some something but it is not jnana it will not lead to moksha that is the primary idea here guru shishya samvada rupena artha nirupane krute shrotrunam sukavodo bhaved iti guru shishya prashna prativachana rupena grantha arabhyate upanishad is also generally a dialectic questions are encouraged questions which shraddha are encouraged that i want to know nanu nacha in the sense of i want to know not as in know what you say is wrong it a kit cannot be whatever you say is definitely wrong not that attitude but questioning with the attitude of learning i have doubts please clarify in the entire uh, shastra it is seen that questions are there it's a dialectic between the guru and shishya so guru shishya samvada that's why geeta also we say that krishna arjuna samvada it is samvada between krishna and arjuna here guru shishya samvada rupena artha nirupane krute krute when the ideas which are the crux of vedanta they are described then shrotrunam sukavabodha bhaved then there would be sukhena avabodha sukhena sukavabodha sukhena avabodha bhaved sukhena is adverbial easily the understanding for the listeners for the students listeners is basically sadhakas it is easy easily attained the understanding is easy easily attained bhaved iti guru shishya prashna prativachana rupena grantha arabhyate in the manner of questions and answers meaning a dialectic further uh, i mean going back a little this uh, sita prajnam varishtam shrotriyam brahmanishtam if you take this as shrotri and brahmanishta brahmanishta cannot be known others brahmanishta cannot be known you can know your own antakaran and your own brahmanishta and they say that you know unless somebody is a brahmanishta himself one with brahman one cannot know the the other who uh, so called other who is one with brahman so brahmanishta cannot be known it is inferred through the you know through the through the day of the person what does a person do in the entire day the commitment as seen which which is just an inference it may may not be right so sthita prajna lakshana cannot be known geeta acharya is asked krishna is asked by arjuna so bhagwan krishna says that it is just like another person one cannot make out how does one eat how does one sit how does one stand how does, all is similar to an ajnani but a jnani 
will continue to do that but his antakarana is different in the sense it is in his commitment is to brahma so brahmanishta so brahmanishta cannot be known then what can you know you can know that whether or not he is shrotriya shrotriya itself is a loaded word shrotriya itself is a loaded word this is seen in uh, in dharma sindhu there is a description there is a triad actually a triad but loosely today we say that one who has studied in the sampradaya veda vedanta one has studied in the sampradaya with a teacher uh, otherwise there is also varna involved here uh, so shrotriya does just does not mean this it, it is triad it also means uh, varna brahmana because uh, shrotriya definition is to be learned from the veda shastra and that is there in dharma sindhu uh, anyway but general meaning is one who has studied in the sampradaya otherwise uh, varna brahmana one who has upanayana samskara and then the third which is the general meaning as who has studied veda vedanta so veda vedanta studying is third of the triad the first two being varna brahmana and because varna brahmana because he has been a karma brahmana earlier that is the idea he has taken birth as a brahmana to to reach moksha that was the only desire only major desire that he had is to reach moksha and that is the reason a person is born in a particular varna if a person is you know rajasika who wants to you know wants fame wants to do a lot of things for others also wants to protect the others those kind of strong people are born in uh, such families those who have done a lot to you know lot of dana and even want want that kind of uh, wealth back they are born as vaishyas those who are good at it therefore since birth there are tendencies then one who may train or miss it miss one's own uh, goals that's a different story and one who has served others who you know or there is a lot of papa also they say papa is mix there is a mix in every varna there is papa involved but still there is a lot of struggle for a shudra uh, and that washes off by living a shudra life uh, and it is true you know all prarabdha which brings all the circumstances which are difficult for even for a brahmana kshatriya vaishya and shudra living through them forbearing them you know titiksha that cleanses a lot of prarabdha cleanses a lot of makes way for sukha later makes way for sukha in the sense of uh, nitya sukha later it carves the path out for moksha and by saying this we do not mean to say that moksha is not possible for others we are saying that moksha is possible but the ways to reach that jnana may be different that is the adhikaritva uh, nonetheless here shrotriya word should be understood from uh, dharma uh, sindhu otherwise also generally meaning if you take the meaning is one who has studied in the tradition so the guru decides as to whom to teach and if they have studied then we know that the teaching will be right that much um, we can know we cannot know the brahmanishta therefore if not brahmanishta and uh, shrotriya brahmanishta one should approach a shrotriya guru that is the idea here i just wanted to uh, show that out point that out so the uh, dialectic begins now i mean begins in a sense in, in fourth chapter of course guru lakshana what is the guru lakshana now yah sanga vedadhyayi tadarthajna jiva brahmahikya vishayaka dridha tara nischayat parinishthatat परिनिष्ठा निष्ठिता परिनिष्ठिता आत्म साक्षात्कार वान आई हैव डिफिकल्टी व्हेन आई रीड यू नो ब्रेकिंग द वर्ड्स समटाइम्स इट्स नॉट इजी आई हैव टू पॉज एट द राइट सो इट्स इजी टू रीड अ सिंगल वर्ड बट देन समबडी हैड आस्क्ड इफ यू कैन गो स्लो यू नो देयर इज इन ब्रेक द वर्ड्स एज पॉसिबल एनीवे यह सांग वेदाध्यायी वन हु हैज स्टडीड द एंटायर वेदा एट लीस्ट वन शाखा एंटायर वेदा टुडे आई मीन हार्डली एनीवन knows what is the entire veda let alone study it so one's own veda one's own shakha at least some parts of shakha at least one who has studied so yes sanga veda adhyayi tadartha gnaha one who knows the meaning also what is the meaning the commitment of that is jiva brahmahikya vishaya that is a vishaya so yah sanga veda adhyayi tadartha gnyo jiva brahmahikya vishaya ka dridhatara nischayat parinishthita atma sakshatkaravan sa eva guru hu so guru is one who has studied vedas it is not just vedanta there are people who have studied vedanta but they do not know any karma kanda 
Karmakanda will lead, lead to Chitta Shuddhi. Just like we dilute the word of Shrotriya, Shrotriya includes the word of Vedas. So even if you dilute it, Vedas, is include, Vedas are included there. It cannot be just Vedanta. Because that itself will show that a person does not have enough Chitta Shuddhi. Because if one does not study Vedas, how will one do Veda Karma? Vaidika Karma is the main Chitta Shuddhi Marga. It is not the other karmas. Other karmas are definitely there. You know, Vapi Kupatada Gadi. All those are there. Smartha karmas are definitely there. But Vaidika karmas are the main uh, meaning. The Varnashrama karma. Varnashrama karma is dharma. And that karma is karma yoga. There is no other uh, karma yoga. All other karma yoga is diluted meaning. Which is a concession we give ourselves. The Acharyas give us. Because we do not follow the other. There is a lot to be done other than Vaidika Karma. They will work slow. That's why we see Chitta Shuddhi is lacking. How much ever we study Vedanta, we see we are in the same loop. The never ending loop. We feel, you know, we say that we feel that it is not working. Even if we understand during the class, we step out, we forget. Forget uh, as to, you know, paraphrase uh, Swami Paramarthananji. He says that as soon as you wear your foot, footwear, all this jnana goes away because there is a world outside where we are connected. That connection will go. There is ragadvesha which comes about when we connect with the world. That will go only by karma yoga. And that karma yoga is only possible in a primary meaning. Primary sense it is possible only by varnashrama dharma. So there is Vedic study involved. The chanting will bring will bring uh, Chitta Shuddhi. If one is has no Adhikara in Vedas, then peripheral Smriti Granthas have to be studied. People don't study those also. Those at least you study. Puranas you study. They will all lead to Chitta Shuddhi. Leaving those aside, if one does anything and everything, and then they say that, okay, Gita Chara says, whatever you do, you know, you offer it to me. It is not whatever you do. That is only if you cannot do. If you study the 12th chapter, you know, in 12th chapter of Gita, Bhagavan tells Krishna, if you are incapable of this, there is a gradation. You do this. If you are incapable of this, do this. If even you are incapable of even that, then next, then next. Then in the end, you know, whatever it is, finally, at least you do this. So we should not hold on to at least that. At least that is applicable to everyone. Whether or not a sadhaka. For sadhakas, one should try, try to go up the ranks. I can... Can I do better? Can I do something better which is prescribed for my Varanashrama? And you will feel it. If you do it, then you will see how it works. It will start working more and more the Chitta Shuddhi's Pratyaksha. And it is faster if you follow the Varanashrama. That is the idea for a sadhaka. So, Jiva Brahmaikya Vishayaka Dhridhatara Nishchayat Parinishthita Atma Sakshatkara Vam Saiva Guru. One who has Atma Sakshatkara, he is the guru in the right sense. You know, Bukara Chandakaru, he Rukara stage ochate, Adnyana Grasakam Brahma, Guru Revana Samushayaha. Who is a guru? Adnyana Grasakam. Who can, who can take away? Grasaka is actually a, one who can swallow the darkness. Just like the sun figuratively swallows the darkness of night. When there is a sunrise, the sun swallows the darkness as though. Similarly, the darkness, which is Ajnana, is swallowed by the Guru. One who can swallow the Shishya's darkness is the Guru. Meaning one who can take away and show the light is the Guru. How will one show the light if one does not have it? He should be Prakashavan. He can be Prakashavan only when there is saksha, Atma Saksha. Aparoksha Jnana. Anubhuti. Aparoksha Anubhuti. One who has that, he is Guru. Sir, Eva Guru. Eva Kara has been added. And what is that Sakshatkara? Jiva Brahma Aikya. Oneness between Jiva and Brahma. Jiva is my own Swarupa and that is Brahma. And that subject is what? Jiva Brahma Aikya Vishayaka. Dhridhatara Nishchayat. And it is not, it should not be, I understand it, but then I can't stay there. Obstacle should go. So thereby, a lot of effort has been taken to cleanse the mind and Take away vasanas. Vasanakshaya, nishchaya, parinishtita, atma sakshatkara. So there is 
निश्चय वन देर शुड बी एसर्ट इन मनना बैकिंग मनन सिद्ध एंड देन परिनिष्ठित देर इज कंप्लीट कमिटमेंट टू द वेरी थिंग एंड वन डज नॉट वेवर फ्रॉम दि कन्विक्शन दैट वन इज ब्रह्म देन ओनली वन कैन यू नो लीड अदर्स और टीच अदर्स टू दि सब्जेक्ट मैटर लीड अदर्स टू दि सब्जेक्ट मैटर न ही वेदाध्ययन वत्वेण आत्मज्ञान शून्य गुरुर्भवती सो जस्ट दि वेदाध्ययन विल नॉट लीड टू लीड टू आत्मज्ञान वॉट विल नॉट डेफिनेटली लीड टू आत्मज्ञान ऐक्य ज्ञान वन मे नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दि आत्मा इट से लेटलोन ऐक्य सो नॉट दैट कैंड ऑफ स्टडी वेदाध्ययन कैन बी देर बट वेदांत स्टडी नॉट बीइंग प्रॉपर देर मे नॉट बी आत्मज्ञान सो आत्मज्ञान शून्य गुरु न भवती आत्मज्ञ अभी If one knows the Atma also, there are many who know the Atma, but they are doitins. Aikya they do not know. Not only that, they may have aikya jnana, they may not have Veda dhyana. So Veda dhyana not being there, nishtha is not possible. So Atma jnana api Veda dhyana shunya ha. Swayam mukta api paropadesha yogya guru na syaat. So there are. some who are mukta so brahmanishta between brahmanishta and shrotriya what is important what is important as for a teacher what is important is the qualification of the teacher shrotriyatvam not brahmanishtatvam brahmanishtatvam is desirable we cannot know but between the two if you you have shraddha that somebody is brahmanishta but one does not teach vedanta one does not the, that guru does not teach vedanta he does not even encourage to study vedanta because that person has not studied vedanta in this life systematically that person has studied earlier the guru has studied earlier but he does not recall the teaching methodology there was some prarabdha shesha obstacles were there for nishtha so a person may be born and in childhood itself one may become mukta not because of some mysticism mystic experiences should be discounted mystic experiences cannot lead to moksha they may be triggers to what is atma but aikya shravana which was done in earlier life that fructifies now when it fructifies one may not recall the teaching methodology because siddhi can give you the memory earlier earlier janma memory but that siddhi is lacking and even if the siddhi is there it may not be related to that particular uh, teaching itself so the teaching is not pratyaksha that is why in uh, shruti when a shishya approaches a guru there are mantras which say adhi bhagavo brahmeti so adhi bhagavo brahmeti and adhi there is uh, adhi purvaka in dhatu adhyayane adhyayane that adhyayane is please teach but it is not adhyapana adhyapana is teaching adhyayane is study but it is not in that sense the Bha bhagwan bhashyakara glosses over it saying that madartham smara you recall for my sake that is the teacher the shishya tells the guru that you may not need it but you recall for my sake madartham smara that is the meaning of adihi he bhagavah bhagavah is uh, chandasa prayoga of matu bhagavan he bhagavan ityartha he bhagavan he bhagavah madartham smara you recall the teaching for my sake the way it has been taught in the sampradaya only that can take away ajnana for the shishya some something one give some mantra and something that can give chitta shuddhi it cannot give uh, aikya jnana therefore between the brahmanishta who cannot be known even if you have shraddha he cannot help you because uh, between brahmanishta and shrotriya shrotriya can be known and only shrotriya guru can lead to jnana utpatti other is desirable continue to have shraddha worship that mukta also but the mukta's words can be confusing because mukta may be tuned towards someone else because he cannot see how you are baddha it is said that bhagwan ramana maharshi so many people used to sit around him bhagwan uh, ramana maharshi is the nearest example we have you know one of the well known most one of the most famous examples of a brahmanishta who catered to others accessible to others there may there have been uh, muktas but not accessible easily not even known easily he became famous due to western following somebody writes a book 
and he becomes famous of course there is locally he was famous no but worldwide famous suddenly there is a lot of prasiddhi people start to flock and they want moksha and bhagavan laughs when someone says you know we want moksha he said that without self enquiry it is not possible self enquiry is not possible unless you know what to enquire in that can only be taught you cannot stumble upon it so he said it is not like a fruit i can't give you a fruit moksha is a fruit all right but i can't give you like a fruit so he used to laugh because he couldn't see how anyone can miss atma he had that kind of a nishtha that he couldn't even see how others can miss atma which is your own swarupa how can you miss yourself so how will how else will he teach he used to say look into it your question is erroneous look at the questioner the questioner will fade away if you do self inquiry but it wouldn't work for many it would work for very 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 few uttam adhikaris very very few otherwise or those who had vedanta study they could see what he is teaching and they landed on the truth others couldn't masses could not so how will it help of course in vedanta teaching also masses cannot reach kaschit dhira but that kaschit dhira has a methodology to reach that methodology is taught by vedanta there is a lot of grace involved there is a lot of punya involved there is a lot of chitta shuddhi there is a lot of calming on the of the mind in the presence of a brahmanishta but if that brahmanishta does not have a methodology to teach one can one cannot get it the way he got it one cannot get it the teacher who is trained in the sampradaya can like a parasmani says bhagwan bhashyakara somewhere like a parasmani he can convert the others also but parasmani cannot convert another into a parasmani it can convert only another into gold a metal into gold that is the uh, you know uh, that is the fame of the parasmani that when any metal it touches it converts it to gold but can the parasmani make another parasmani cannot so brahmanishta as a parasmani can you know make your chitta shuddhi or make your uh, you know make your uh, mind shine and make your ananda manifest at that moment in his presence you may have a very good feeling but it won't stay he can convert it to gold but he cannot create another parasmani it is very difficult for him to convert you into another mukta but the vedanta sampradaya says that the teaching is such that the way it is written it, the teaching methodology can take away your doubts and clarify everything so that you don't miss it you land on the tattva so nahi vedadhyana nahi vedadhyana vatva matrena atmajnana shunyo gurur bhavati and on the flip side atmajnyo api vedadhyana shunya swayam mukta api vedadhyana shunya can mean two things veda includes vedanta or vedanta without veda also because chitta shuddhi will be lacking that person will not land into uh, atmajnana but let's say he due to purva samskara he landed so muk, swayam mukto api swayam mukta api paropadesha yogya guru hu nasyat he cannot teach others he will not be a yogya teacher yato jignasu shishya hridgata sandeha nivartana kshamana yuktinam pratibhanam vedadhyana shunyasya na jayate one who has not studied veda vedanta in the sampradaya cannot handle the tarka the yuktis which are used to resolve the doubts the contradictions in the understanding and apparent contradictions in the teachings will remain one cannot handle it because one does not know them if one knows them he does not know how to resolve and this is how people land in various kinds of philosophical flavors but not vedanta yataha jignasu shishya hridgata one who is a jignasu he is a he is nyatu michu he is moksha uh, moktu michu mumukshu how by being nyatu michu he wants to get jnana because he knows jnana no moksha and he asks questions when he asks questions if you say no you don't ask such question you you know stay with uh, just do dhyana that won't work <clears throat> so jignasu shishya hridgata sandeha nivartana kshamanam yuktinam the yuktis which have the capacity to take away doubt that's why tarka shastra also should be studied 
Tarkashastra, Tarkashastra has two parts. One is logic, the other is logical conclusions, which can be illogical because logic works both ways. Logic which traces back to Shruti should be studied. Logic which is Shushka Tarka, dry logic should be dropped. So philosophy of tar Tarkika should be dropped. But the methodology of the Tarkikas is used by everyone. It is, it should be studied. Vyakrana and uh, Tarka are said to be favorable to everyone. Everyone should study Tarka and Vyakrana because they are the foundation. People go wrong by not studying Tarka. People go wrong by not understanding Vyakrana. There is loose translation all over the place. Pratya meaning is contradictory. The Pratya, in just like we say, you know, uh, uh, we say that uh, in Vedanta, we say that the uh, Nishprapancham Prapanchate. How? Nishprapancham Brahma Prapanchate. Katham? Adhyaropa Poadabhyam. Adhyaropana Poada. Similarly, there is a Prakriti and Pratya. So, Prakriti Pratyabhyam. The meaning is manifest only by knowing the Prakriti and Pratya. In the case of verb, the Prakriti is uh, the basic unit would be Dhatu. Dhatu and Pratya will tell you uh, what is the Tinganta Padam. And Dhatu sitting with a Krudanta will tell you what is the Krudanta Pada. So, meaning is there in the Dhatu as well as the Pratya. So, Prakriti and Pratya will give you meaning to even understand Tarka Shastra. So, Vyakrana as a Vedanga is, uh, is a foundation. So, jokingly, you know, uh, Racharyas used to say that, you know, Vyakranam kya karanam. People, you know, this is, it is not uh, Sanskrit. It is Hindi mixed with Sanskrit and Vyakranam kya karanam. That person does not even know that the, the sentence is wrong. He wants to say Vyakrana kya karna. So, but to, you know, rhyme it very well, you do use a murdhanya and as though Sanskrit you use it and he says, what is the use of Vyakrana? Many people have this. What is the use of Vyakrana? Study at least basic Vyakrana. We are not saying, uh, you know, uh, study Ashtadhyay. So, what to do with Vyakrana? These people do not understand how the meaning comes in because entire Vedanta is Mimamsa. Mimamsa, Uttara Mimamsa. Mimamsa is textual analysis. It is not dhyana on something. It is textual analysis. Textual analysis is possible only when pada analysis is Vakya jnana is a shabda bodha. Shabda bodha takes place with vakya jnana. Vakya jnana takes place with pada jnana. Pada jnana takes place with pratya and uh, the uh, prakriti and pratya. That is the importance. So without uh, that study in other languages and uh, the states possible to explain the meaning. But the more meaning which is lost in translation that you cannot get unless you study Mula. So that is the strength of Vyakrana and Tarka also because Yuktis which have Shamata to remove Nivrutti of Sandeha, all the doubts which are in the mind of the Shishya. And see in the Shishya's mind, if you, uh, Siddha says, I'll take away your doubts in the Antakarna, that Siddhi is different. That Siddhi will not work on doubts. And even if it works, it, is, it will be momentary. That's It won't stay. It can give a lot of blessings. But then uh, the doubts, Hridgata Sandehas can be expressed in words. The Shishya will express in words. And the answer should be in words. Therefore, Jijnasu Shishya Hridgata Sandeha Nivartakshamanam Yukchina, those logic, which logical statements themselves cannot be illogical. They can't, they'll create more doubts. The person ends up with more doubts. I don't know how this works. Drops off the path. Therefore, yukti nam pratibhanam videha, uh, sorry, ve, vedadhyana shunyasya na jayate. That pratibhana na jayate. Pratibhanam na jayate. Vedadhyana shunyasya. The, the ideas which take away the doubts of the other won't come to the mind at all. Unless one is trained in the sampradaya, multiple repetitions, abhyasa is there. Then at the right moment, maybe Prajna works there, Medha Shakti works and one is able to answer. It is all Anukra, all right. But effort of the Shishya is involved. The traditional teacher is involved who has taught the Shishya and molded that Shishya into the entire Sampradaya of Bhashya, Tika goes in shaping up the Shishya into a Guru also. So otherwise, Veda Adhyana Shunyasya, Veda Vedanta Adhyana Shunyasya, because Vedanta is included there, Na Jayate. Sandeha Shunyasya Uttama Samskara Vataha 
चरम जन्म जिज्ञासो उपदेश सामर्थ्योप्यम साधारण्येन सर्वमुक्षु जनोपदेश सामर्थ्या भावा न आचार्य भवितुमर्हति सो समबडी हु इज मुक्त बट ही डज नॉट हैव दी वेदांत टीचिंग नॉलेज ही डज नॉट नो दी मेथडोलॉजी ऑफ टीचिंग बिकॉज ऑफ संप्रदाय टीचिंग लैकिंग इन दिस जन्म ही हैज ज्ञाना ऑल राइट बट दैट ज्ञाना हैज कम ड्यू टू सम अर्लियर लर्निंग सो व्हाट हैपेंस देन ही विल बी एबल टू हेल्प समवन हु संदेह शून्य से वन हु डज नॉट हैव डाउट वन हु हैज लॉट ऑफ लाइक अनदर ऑफ हिज टाइप the person who is born with some prarabdha pending some obstacles pending that person has jnana but that jnana has not led to phala because some uh, some uh, obstacles are there they will go in childhood let's say and then he does not know how to teach but then he may be able to use some something which may appear to be mystical and it may work for another who is of a similar type somebody who is uh, who has a little prarabdha pending who is sandeha shunya and uttama samskara vata vat one uttama samskara one who himself has uttama samskara uttama adhikari then what will happen one tatvamasi vakya one some statement somewhere from the shastra which is which has stuck in the mind of the mukta without the other teaching methodology he may just utter it and that kind of a jignyasu charama janma he is in his last janma because only some obstacle was pending that obstacle is taken away so it is like you know uh, the uh, kakatalinya just it may be may not may or may not be due to that reason of teaching but for some reason his charama janma obstacle is gone and jignaso upadeshe samarth samartho api ayam he can teach this uttama adhikari he may say something and that may free the person he already had some knowledge now some obstacles are there as soon as he hears some earlier gained knowledge that triggers and it burns the rest rest of the prarabdha and he is free rest of the prarabdha means the prarabdha which is pending a little it appears as though it took away everything and he is free it may work definitely work but the it will not work for a sadharyena sarvamukshu janopadesha samarthya bhava na acharya bhavitum arhati he is not an acharya though he is not qualified to be an acharya because acharya should be able to teach all sorts of gradations of sadhakas there should be mumukshus not that one can teach everyone not everyone is qualified but those who are qualified whether or not uttam adhikaris they are they they are to be taught and when they are taught the jnana should take place <coughs> so thereby sadharani sadharanyena sarvamukshu janopadesha samarthya bhavat na acharya bhavitum arhati he cannot become an acharya because he cannot teach everyone it will not lead to jnana for everyone everyone tasmad vedadhyana sampannah atmajnya cha <coughs> sorry <coughs> tasmad vedadhyana sampannah atmajnya च एव आचार्य इति उच्यते सो हु इज एन आचार्य हु कैन टीच एवरी वन देर फोर वन हु हैज वेदाध्ययन हु हैज फिनिश्ड हिज वेदाध्ययन ओनली दैट पर्सन हु इज आत्मज्ञ ऑल्सो नॉट दैट ही हैज नो आत्मज्ञान ही शुड हैव वेदांत वेद वेदांत स्टडी एज वेल एज आत्मज्ञान स ही शिष्य बुद्धिगत पंच विद भेदा नाना युक्ति भी ही निवर्ते तुम समर्थ सियात सो दिस भेदास विच आर देयर सही शिष्य बुद्धिगत पंच विद भेदान देयर आर भेदास ऑफ यू नो फाइव टाइप्स मेंशनड हियर नाना युक्ति भी यूजिंग लॉट ऑफ युक्तीज लॉजिक्स ही ही कैन टेक अवे दैट निवर्ते तुम समर्थ सियात ही इज कैपेबल टू काउंटर ऑल दोस डाउट्स एंड टेक अवे देम व्हाट आर दोस भेदास तेच भेदाह जीवेश्वर भेद द डाउट इज दैट देर इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन जीवा एंड ईश्वर जीवा नाम परस्पर भेद देर इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन ईच एंड एवरी जीव जीव जड भेद द जीवा एंड जड आर डिफरेंट द वर्ल्ड इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द जीव ईश्वर जड भेद देर इज द वर्ल्ड एंड द ईश्वर आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ईच अदर जड़ा नाम परस्पर भेद द वर्ल्ड इज ऑल्सो डिफरेंट ईच 
component of the world is different from each other there are five types of bhedas but we talk about aikya so aikya cannot have any kind of bheda aikya has to be at all the five levels how that also has to be understood how can one say you know there is no bheda between jiva and jada when you talk about jiveshwara uh, abheda okay i understand that jivanam paraspara bheda a little difficult abheda paraspara abheda is very difficult to understand how can i be one with the other i am one with ishwara not with the other jiva then jiva jada bheda at least you this is the teaching you have taught me that i am different from the world and now you are suddenly saying that there is abheda between me yes aikya is there you cannot have bheda between jiva and jada otherwise there will be a duality the teaching is not of aikya ishwara jada bheda the world is created by ishwara that world is different from ishwara this is the teaching now you are saying that it is one how it is how is it one it is one karana kar karya abheda should be possible and that methodology should be known jada ram paraspara bheda the jada are different from each other ya vyavaharika satta vyavaharika satta and paramarthika satta should be differentiated sarvan etan bhedan khandayitum sahayva samartha kasa vedadhyana sampanna atmajnyascha these are the two basically shrotriya brahmanishta that is the idea so here anyway guru here guru there is a tippana there guru is yatha swayam bhogajnya bhogo uh, sorry mar, margajnya yatha swayam margajnyo margo upadeshe samarthah tatha brahma swarupajnya eva brahmo upadeshe yogya bhavati so one who knows the marga can teach the marga to others if you do not know which way someone ask you which way is this particular you know which way is uh, pune you can't tell which way is pune because you don't know if you know then alone you can guide others that is the idea here similarly brahma swarupajnya eva brahmo upadesha yogya bhavati one should know the swarupa no brahman swan swarupa to teach the others panchabheda khandana yuktaya so there is yukti is given how to how each of these can be counted ghatakasha matakasha bhedavat jiveshwara bheda avidya maya roopopadi janitatva kalpitah so avidya is the basis for all bhedas primarily so ghatakasha matakasha are different from each other similarly jiva and ishwara are different how due to avidya ghatakasha and matakasha are not really different similarly ishwara and jiva are not really different from each other they are created due to earlier differences due to the ghata upadi matha upadi similarly maya upadi for ishwara and ji avidya upadi for jiva so avidya maya there shouldn't be a comma here this comma is misleading avidya maya roopa upadi janitatva kalpitah so avidya upadi janitatva uh, and maya upadi janitatva avidya roopa upadi janitatva and maya roopa upadi janitatva that's a dwandva with avidya and maya are individual upadis for are upadis individual specific particular upadis for uh, avidya for jiva and maya for ishwara those create the bheda and create in the sense kalpitah therefore the first is what jiveshwara bheda that is not possible it is mithya नाना घटाकाश भेदवत जीवानाम परस्पर भेदा आभास सहित अंतकरण रूप उपाधि जनि तत्वात कल्पिता हा आभास सहित अंतकरण हा सो दिस आभास वादा इन दैट अंतकरण देर इज एन आभास हा सो दैट आभास हा इज जीवा एंड देन नाना घटाकाश भेदवत जस्ट लाइक अरियर सेम आइडिया नाना घटा बट हियर घटाकाश मटाकाश देर इज a larger body and a smaller body here the comparison is between the similar sized ghatas so nana ghata akash bheda ghata 1 same size ghata 2 maybe another size but similar all are ghatas so ghata akashas are different from each other only due to different smaller or larger ghatas bhedas between sajatiya bheda basically sajatiya but there is no real bheda there is only upadi bheda so jeevanam paraspara bheda among each among all jivas themselves there is abhasa sahita antakarana each has a different antakarana that becomes a upadi and abhasa is different therefore it appears to be different but really chaitanya has no bheda 
देन जीव जड़ भेद जीव जड़ भेद साभासकरण अगे साभास अंतकरण आभास सहित अंतकरण अनदर वे टू कोटेड ये साभास अंतकरण जीव जड़ भेद निराभास नाम रूप नाम रूपम नाम रूप इट शुड बी उपाधि राम नाम रूप उपाधि जनित जनित कल टाइप ऑफ हियर जीव जड़ भेद साभासकरण निराभास नाम रूप उपाधि नाम रूप उपाधि जनित कल इट इज ऑलो इमेजिंड बिकॉज ऑफ वॉट बिटवीन जीव एंड जड़ा देर इज साभास अंतकरण एंड निराभास अंतकरण इज लैकिंग इन दि जड़ा अंतकरण इज देर इन दि जीवा देर फोर देर इज आभास इन दि जीवा देर इज नो आभास इन दि जड़ा देर बाय देर इज नाम रूप उपाधि डिफरेंस देर इज नो डिफरेंस इन चैतन्य अगेन चैतन्य इज देर इवन इन जड़ा इट इज नॉट मैनिफेस्ट दट सॉल ईश्वर जड़ भेद वॉट अबउट ईश्वर एंड जड़ा बिटवीन दम देर इज भेद विच इज साभास माया नाम रूप उपाधि जनित कल हियर ऑलो द सेम टाइप ऑफ ईश्वर जड़ भेद इज ड्यू टू वॉट साभास माया एंड नाम रूप उपाधि जनित कल देर इज आभास इन जड़ा सॉरी इन आभास इन माया इन हियर दि अंतकरण इज दि उपाधि इन जीवा and jada has no antakarana similarly here there is maya as an upadhi to ishwara but jada does not have maya upadhi so nama roopa upadhi is there for jada and thereby ishwara and jada bheda is due to maya upadhi and nama roopa upadhi there is no chaitanya bheda between the two between the two in the sense nama roopa is mithya that is the idea therefore the jada is mithya really This is not Aikya Samana Adhikarana. This is Bada Samana Adhikarana. Jeeva Jada Bheda is also Bada Samana Adhikarana. Jeeva Jeeva Bheda uh, Abheda is also. Here Jeeva Jeeva Abheda can be taken as Aikya also. Not a, no issue there. But there is uh, between the Ghata Kasha Mata Kasha. Uh, as an example and Jeeveshwara Bheda. The Jeeveshwara Vada, Bheda Abheda is true Abheda. It is, uh, it is Aikya Samana Adhikarana. everything else is can be taken as jeeva jeeva abheda can also be taken as aikya but the jeeva jada ishwara jada and jada jada they these are all uh, they can be taken as uh, as the uh, the uh, not aikya but it is by badha so badhena samana adhikarane or badhayam samana adhikarane is badha samana adhikarane meaning jada is not there only atma tatva is there that is the uh, abheda at that samana adhikarana is at that level <coughs> then further the last is rajvaropita sarpa dandadi bhedavat jada nam paraspara bheda nam roopa uh, upadhi again same issue here nam roopo upadhi janitatvat kalpitah between one jada and the other jada so rajjo rajvaropita रज्जो रज्वारोपित सर्प दंडादि भेदवत ऑन दि रज्जु देर इज सर्प एस अध्यारोपित दंड अध्यारोपित एंड आदि वी कैन से यू नो जलधारा और भूचिद्र देर इज एन अपियरेंस ऑफ ऑल दिस आर दे रियली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ईच अदर देर इज नो सर्प देर इज नो दंड देर इज ओनली रज्जु रियली सो हियर ऑल्सो बिटवीन सर्प एंड दंड देर इज भेद ओनली इन प्रतीति एक्चुअली देर इज नीदर सर्प नॉर दंड इट इज बुद्धिगत So you know the uh, buddhi gata sarpa buddhi gata danda. Actually, there is no difference between the two. Jada nam paraspara bheda nama roopa upadhi janita tvat kalpita. There is only nama as rajju uh, sorry as sarpa and danda, which is prati bhasika, and roopa in the form of sarpa and danda in the mind of the different seers. There is no difference between the two. They are all nama roopa bheda tva nama roopa upadi jani tattva kalpita ha. In the mula bheda scha, just let's see. Let's at least complete the sentence there. Bheda scha. So bheda scha bhaya he tu hu and bheda will lead to bhaya. Bhaya he tu. Bheda is bhaya he tu and uh, quotations, Shruti quotations are given. 
उदर मंत्र कुरु ते द्वितीयाद्वैभवतीदि श्रुति तस्मा भेदो अवश्य खंडनीय भेद शुड बी रिफ्यूटेड बिकॉज भेद विल लीड टू भय उदर मंत्र अंतर कुरुते उदर अंतर कुरुते उत उदर अंतर कुरुते देर इवन इफ ए लिटिल लिटिल डिफरेंस वन उत अंतर कुरुते इवन अ लिटिल इवन अ लिटिल भेद इफ वन डस then this is in taitriya brahmana in taitriya upanishad says that one who does udara mantra kurute uh, so he has bhaya same idea there dvitiya advai bhayam bhavati another brahat shruti says that if there is a second then from the second there is bhaya we'll stop here tasmat bhedha avashyam khandaniya we'll continue in the next part bhedha is khandaniya definitely it should be refuted it should be negated and abheda is the tatparya it should be understood we'll continue in the next part ha sukham nityam saprakasham vyapakam nam rupayo adishthanam buddhya buddhyam buddher drukyatya nirmalam aparam sarvedanta vidyam pratya parama ha tadeva hanamatto anya iti me nischita mati hi any questions Okay. Namaste, I'll see you in the next part. Namaste, Gurgaon.